Today, we're looking at an iPhone 12 Pro facing an unusual problem. The touchscreen isn't working. Despite trying different screens, the issue persists. We'll start by trying another screen. But unfortunately, the touch function still doesn't work. Now looking closely with a microscope, we're checking the touchscreen connector for any physical damage. Surprisingly, the connector looks perfectly fine. Undeterred, we proceed carefully, using a multimeter to check for issues. Following the software diagram, we focus on connector J11600, also known as the touch screen connector. Comparing our readings with the diagram, we find a problem. All readings match except for pin number three, which unexpectedly shows zero instead of the expected 0 0.536. This zero reading indicates a grounded line, suggesting a short circuit. Going deeper into our investigation, we trace this issue to a pin connected to a line called PP5V1 Touch VI DDH CON, which supplies 5.1 volts to the touchscreen. This line comes from U8900, a boost converter that increases the input from 3.7 volts to 5.5 volts. It then goes through an LDO, the U8910, to maintain a stable output voltage of 5.1 volts unaffected by changes in input voltage or load current. Ultimately, this carefully regulated 5.1 volts reach pin number three on the touchscreen connector, solving the mystery behind the unresponsive touchscreen. To find the component causing the short circuit, we move to the next step. We use alcohol to remove the foam around the touchscreen connector. Referring to the diagram again, we identify the test point related to the problematic line. With the multimeter probes connected to the power supply, we apply freeze spray to the connector's surroundings and inject voltage into the designated test point. Surprisingly, a capacitor shows itself by melting the ice first, revealing its hidden role in the short circuit. With this discovery, we carefully remove the problematic capacitor, clean the area, and replace it with one salvaged from another motherboard. A final check of the readings confirms the elimination of the short circuit. The moment of truth comes as we reconnect the screen, and there you have it. The touch screen now works perfectly. If you're looking to improve your repair skills, check out the resources at cellphonerepairacademy.com. Your journey to mastering repairs awaits.